Hello everyone. So in this video we are going to verify the reciprocity theorem practically by conducting an experiment on the given circuit. So before getting into the conduction of the experiment, let me just tell you what does the reciprocity theorem state. So as per the reciprocity theorem, if an EMF E in one branch of the reciprocal network produces a current I in another, then if the EMF E is moved from first to the second branch, it will cause the same current in the first branch, where the EMF has been replaced by a short circuit. Alright? So, considering this example, we have E equal to 10 volts, which is present in the first and we have IAB as a current in the other branch. Now if we move this 10 volts to the other branch by shorting it like this and placing 10 volts here, we get ICD as a current across this branch. What is what reciprocity theorem actually state is that IAB equals to ICD. Alright? So if you have understood what is the reciprocity theorem, let's go ahead carrying out the experiment. So if in order to conduct the experiment, we have the breadboard. As you may know, the breadboard is vertically shorted in this part and horizontally shorted in these. And these two are actually separated. So. So here's our circuit and 10 volts is placed here. Now actually I have this battery to actually be used as a voltage source. <coughs> so let's just place all other components before adding the battery. So first of all, we have this 1000 ohms which is present here, so I'll be adding that to our breadboard. Alright, now the other end of the resistor is connected to 100 ohms. The other end of 100 ohms is connected to ground. And then we have a 1500 ohms resistor which is again connected to one end of 100 ohms okay this must be placed here because it is vertically shorted and this is our 1500 ohms resistor which is connected again over here another end to the ground circuit and now the only thing left is the battery so one end of the battery let's just check the voltage using our multimeter comes out to be 9.9 .9 something so that's approximately 10 volts and we'll be placing that here so one end of the voltage source is connected to 1000 ohms resistor
the other end is connected to ground. Alright. Now all we need to do is find out the voltage across the 1500 ohms. So here's our 1500 ohms, so we'll be finding the voltage across this. So that turns out to be, we place the voltmeter here. Alright, so. see that turns out to be 0.8 volts right so let's just write that the voltage across this is 0.8 you can also connect the multimeter itself in the amps mode in series with the 1500 ohms all right so for doing that, you need to just disconnect the battery and you need to just place your resistor 1500 ohms here and you need to connect the positive terminal of your multimeter over here and the negative to ground and that will give you the current across the other branch but we have found the voltage so let's just do what is appropriate so the positive of the battery will go to one end of the resistor as shown that is 1500 ohms The other end will go to ground. All right, and this resistor other end will go to ground also. That means the thousand ohms resistor will be connected to ground. Fine. All right, this. So the voltage across the thousand so that turns out to be approximately 0.6 right. that point turns out to be 0.5 0.6 voltage across this turned out to be 0.5 fine so after we have done that we'll just remove the connection across this All right. so so what we have found is that the voltage across the 1500 ohms resistor is 0.8 and the voltage across 1000 ohms is 0.5 so all you need to do is just divide this 
uh, voltage by the resistor you will get the current ICD and if we divide 0.8 by 1500 we will get the current IAB so in order to do that let's just use our calculator and this is divide 0.8 divided by 1500 that turned out to be 0.53 milliamps and 0.5 divided by 1000 turned out to be again 0.55 milliamps all right so that is approximately approximately same and because there are some discharging happening in the battery while we were conducting the experiment and there was some time taken so because of that there might be some difference but this is approximately same and that is what reciprocity theorem states and we have actually verified it practically all right so that ends our video thanks for watching and if you want some theoretical proof or more information on this you can just go ahead and click the link below okay thanks for watching